So I started playing guitar in like 2015 or something and I started with my parents' guitars which they bought in like the year 2000. It was an acoustic guitar, trumpet, I believe. And I remember it was pretty hard to play, like even back then I think it had like 12s or 13s. And I remember struggling a lot in the first week, especially after I learned bar chords. So like after a year of playing, my dad promised me to buy another guitar and to be my own guitar, <coughs> because that was their guitar. So we searched a bit and we went to like the car pieces marketplace or something, because there were people there selling everything. And we bought an MSA acoustic guitar. And uh, I remember uh, getting home and uh, it was a little bit easier to play, but it didn't sound as loud as the first one, so I guess it was a little bit lower in quality. But it had a cutaway which uh, helped me play fast solos or something, because I was really into electric guitar. And it was also like electroacoustic, you could plug it. And I remember I plugged it in my PC in like guitar rig, and um, yeah, I played around with distortion on an acoustic guitar, and I thought back then it sounded amazing and then after working a lot I, after like another one two years I saved up and bought my first electric guitar it cost me like two hundred dollars and uh, I didn't even have an amp it was an SX Stratocaster vintage series or something and it was great it was HSS Strat maple fingerboard I was super excited getting home just looking at it that, and couldn't believe that I had an electric guitar finally and I played it almost unplugged for a year before I got like an amp or something and uh, then after another 2-3 years I also worked hard and I really wanted a PRS but for some reason I got the Yamaha Studio Lord like right here and uh, it was like a Les Paul type and uh, it sounded great but after a week or two of playing it I realized that it wasn't just cosmetic damage on it because it was from 1970 but it was like real damage like the fretboard right uh, here it was all cracked and uh, the truss rod didn't move at all so I went back to the shop and I uh, returned it and then I got this guitar this is uh, a Fender CD2020, or actually 220, a C Polaris. It's a really good guitar, it was like $500 or something. And then I got my PRS SC Custom 24, which I was super excited because I really wanted the PRS. And it was fun, it didn't sound as good as I expected, it was very sharp sounding. And I expected it to be like grey black, which was shown in the pictures, but when I got it, it was like almost green black or something. And yeah, it didn't stay in tune very well. Like I remember when I had that guitar, I got into my first band, like a wedding band, and at some gigs it just went out of tune and that was very bad, but it played really nice. So after another year or two, I found like a friend of Stratocaster made in USA for like $1200 and I didn't have the money so I asked the dude if he wants to trade my guitar plus like $300 or something and he agreed and we did that and I had my first USA made guitar with Stratocaster and it felt a little bit better like the first were more old and it felt really nice it was a 1990 model in blue and I love that guitar, I still miss it. After I had that guitar, I missed having the humbuckers because it only had two single coils. So what I did is basically I found a Les Paul copy for like $350. It was called the Spear RD 250 and yeah, it felt nice, the fits were a little greedy and it sounded like a Les Paul but it was very uncomfortable because, you know, the 
was all square sides, body stuff. It was quite uncomfortable and heavy as well. I remember like uh, after some gigs my back really hurt so I got rid of that one. So after a while I really wanted a humbucker guitar again. And uh, I found an Icon S for like $600, but I also didn't have the money and sold my strap and I bought that. And uh, I remember it was feeling quite bad, I don't know. Like the frets, you could really feel them, they were a little sharp. The sound just wasn't that good and I hated how the frets feel and it has a lot of buzz. And not really good at setting up guitar, so I started hating that guitar. So I traded it for some pedals, and then I saved up and I bought my PRS S2 custom, not custom, single cut. Yeah, and that was my first USA made guitar, not guitar, but PRS guitar. So it, I still have it, it's right here. And it feels really good, it sounds nice, but my problem is that the switch actually just broke and now you can only have the neck pickup or no pickups, basically. Also I forgot to mention that my cousin gave me a guitar after I had my SX. So the thing with the SX guitar is that I wanted to give it better pickups and uh, I modded it. I bought a Mexican pickguard loaded and I unscrewed the old pickguard and then I put the new pickguard in with three single coils that were much better actually. But the pickguard didn't fit like very well and uh, I had to basically trim holes in it. So that was my first and only mod project. <laughs> 